All right, workout worthy, welcome to Pio. Pio is a combination of Pilates and yoga, and ideally, Pio is done in bare feet. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, like this video, and save this video. You can come back and do this Pio flow anytime. Now, Pio is a great way to lengthen, strengthen, tone, and condition all of your muscles from head to toe. This can be a standalone workout, or you can do this in combination with any of our total body conditioning or amazing ab routines. It's also great to do after a cardio session or even a great way to just start or finish your day. Now let's start in mountain pose. Our feet are together, heels can be slightly apart just depending on your anatomy. Kneecaps are lifted, our inner thighs are sealed, and we are elongating from the bottom of our feet up through the crown of our head. Our powerhouse is strong, about two inches above, two inches below your belly button. And our chin is level, keeping in mind that wherever we go during our practice, our head is always an extension of our spine. Let's take a centering breath, inhale, reaching up, and exhale. Nice deep breath, inhale, and exhale. And start with a forward fold, reaching, and then elongating, your hands can come to your thighs, your shins, yoga blocks, or the mat. We wanna lift through our tailbone, elongate down our spine, allowing our upper body to hang. Now sealing our inner thighs, flat back, inhale, reaching up, and exhale, mountain. Inhale, and exhale, sitting into chair. Weight stays even between the balls and the heels of your feet, our inner thighs are sealed, powerhouse is still strong. Adding movement, standing strong in mountain, and then back into chair. Inhale and exhale. Throughout our flow, we wanna make sure that we're matching our movements with our breath, and we're always breathing, never holding our breath. Holding our chair, let's inhale, reaching through our fingers, and exhale, folding into a folded chair reach through in our fingers, and then exhale as our arms fold in flight. From folded chair, inhale mountain, and exhale. I love moving chairs to add heat, to build heat, and to get our muscles nice and warm before we go into any deep stretching poses. Inhale, and exhale. Now inhale, placing your hands on your thighs, the small of your back or interlock, Exhale, diving into fan. Now fan is very similar to forward fold, just depending on your hand position. Your hands can be on your thigh, the small of your back, or interlock. Contracting our legs, flat back, lifting up to a tabletop parallel to the floor, and then diving into fan. Up to tabletop, Diving back to fan. And then one more holding tabletop. Step to your right and dive into a wide fan. Flat back, inhale, reaching up. Exhale, stepping back into mountain. Inhale, reach, and exhale into chair. As we hold our chair, sealing our palms, pulling to heart center in prayer. In option one, we can stay right here. Option two, you can add rotation, keeping your ankles, your knees, your hips all aligned, but working towards bringing your left elbow to your right knee. Hands can stay at heart center in prayer, or you can open, making a triangle, hand to head to hand. Now from your chair, you can go to forward fold or spinal twist in forward fold, reaching your right hand to the ceiling, reaching your left hand to either a yoga block or the mat, working on stacking your shoulders as you open your chest. If your right hand is lifted, lower down, so we all meet in forward fold. Flat back, inhale up, exhale mountain, inhale, and exhale chair. Weight stays even, inhale as we reach through our fingers, exhale as we fold up and over, Inhale as we reach. Exhale as our arms fold in flight. Inhale, placing our hands on our thighs, the small of our back or interlock, and exhale, diving into fan. So the same fan pose with those same hand choices, thighs, 
small of our back or interlock. We're going to contract our legs, elongating to a tabletop, then fan, tabletop, and fan. Let's do one more. Holding tabletop, stepping to the left, and diving into a wide fan. Contracting the legs, lifting inhale up, exhale mountain, inhale, and exhale chair. As we're holding our chair, sealing the palms, pulling to heart center, option one stays here. Option two, we add that spinal twist, working towards bringing our right elbow to our left knee this time. Our ankles, our knees, our hips, are all in line. Hands can stay at heart center, or we can open making that triangle hand to head to hand. Breathing in your version of chair, and then extending to either forward fold or spinal twist and forward fold. Reaching that left hand, trying to stack our shoulders as we open our chest. If your left hand is lifted, lower it down, and then flat back. Inhale up, exhale. So we're nice and warm, built a lot of heat. We're gonna move on to the challenging part of this lesson. So let's start in a warrior two. Your left knee is bent, right leg is straight, left toes face the left wall, right toes face forward. Hips and chest are open. We're reaching through our fingertips, breathing as we hold warrior two, and then adding movement. Inhale, extend our knee, exhale, bend. Inhale, extend, exhale, bend. Reach and reach, keeping our shoulders stacked right above our hips, moving our body as a unit. Inhale, squaring our hips. Exhale, squaring into warrior one. Left knee is bent, right leg is straight, powerhouse is strong. Feet are in the same position, adding movement. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Great job. Inhale, opening our hips, opening our chest. Exhale, warrior two. Now this time, we're gonna hinge forward and fold to a right angle, reaching from your hand to your heel. You can stay supported, you can reach towards the floor, or you can use a yoga block or your mat. Breathing. Lifting back, warrior two. Breathing as we hold. Inhale, hinge. Exhale, fold to your version of right angle. Breathing as we hold. And then inhale, back up to warrior two. Last time here, breathing in warrior two. Inhale, hinge. Exhale, right angle. Now we're gonna bring our left hand behind, lifting our back leg and come into a runner's lunge. <clears throat> runner's lunge, left knee is right above your ankle, back leg is straight, powerhouse is strong. We're gonna soften our knee, point our toe into this low lunge stretch. From low lunge, flex your foot and lift back to runner's lunge. Elongating. Now our feet are gonna stay in this same position, but we're gonna lift through our tailbone and elongate into a forward facing pyramid. So we're gently pressing that right heel down, lifting through our tailbone, elongating down our spine. From here, inhale, and then exhale back to our runner's lunge. Inhale, exhale, runner's lunge. Inhale, exhale, runner's lunge. Inhale, exhale, holding runner's lunge. Softening your back knee. You might need your hands for support. We're gonna come up into a high lunge. Powerhouse is strong. Feeling that length. From high lunge, inhale to prepare, and then exhale, pushing off into warrior three. 
reaching head to toe, reaching fingertip to fingertip. Now you might need your toe for balance. You might lift slightly. You might be closer to parallel. Now inhale, high lunge. Exhale, warrior three. 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 Inhale, holding high lunge. Extending both legs. And then bringing your hand to your thigh for support. We're gonna do a deadlift in forward facing pyramid. Resisting the stretch as we hinge. Then contracting that left leg as we lift. Exhale as we hinge. Inhale as we contract. Now I'm gonna keep my hands on my thigh. If you do need more and you can keep good alignment, you can try opening your heart as you do this deadlift and then contracting back up. We're gonna do one more. Exhale and inhale. Let's put this all together. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, warrior three. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, forward facing pyramid. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, warrior three. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, forward facing pyramid. Two more times, high lunge. Warrior three. High lunge, forward facing pyramid. Last time through, high lunge, warrior three, high lunge, and forward facing pyramid. High lunge, and we're gonna finish with some moving high lunges. Inhale, extend, exhale, bend. Inhale, extend, exhale, bend. No movement forward or back. We lift and we lower, we lift and we lower. Great job. Let's come back to a runner's lunge. Feel that stretch. That left leg did so much work. Left leg extends to plank. On your toes or on your knees, inhale to prepare. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Feeling that length. Lifting through our hips, elongating down our spine. Breathing. Softening our knees, baby steps, walking our feet to our hands into forward fold, releasing into that stretch, and ragdoll, using the strength of our core to round our back, stack our vertebrae all the way up to mountain. Inhale and exhale. Great job. Other side. So we're gonna take it all the way back to the top into our warrior two. This time, right toes, Face the right wall, left toes face forward, that's first. And we're gonna bend our right knee into warrior two. <clears throat> left leg stays straight, hips and chest are open, reaching through our fingertips. Breathing as we hold warrior two. Our goal is symmetry, but this side might feel and look very different. So explore what your body needs on this side. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Let's do two more. Moving warrior twos. Flowing. Inhale. Exhale, warrior one. So our right knee is still bent. Left leg is straight. Powerhouse is strong. Working on squaring our hips. Adding movement to warrior one. Inhale, extend. Exhale, bend. Inhale and exhale. Reach and lower, reach and lower. Inhale, opening our hips, opening our chest. Exhale into warrior two. From warrior two, we're holding and then we hinge and fold to right angle. Start high, see how this feels. You can support on your thigh, reach to the floor, use a yoga block or use the mat. Breathing in warrior, or right angle. And then inhale, lifting, using the strength up to warrior two. Breathing as we hold. So our legs don't change from this warrior two. We hinge, fold to right angle. Your version of the pose, what works for you. And then inhale, exhale, warrior two. Breathing, 
Inhale, exhale, right angle, and this time in right angle, we're gonna bring our right hand behind, lift that back heel, and come into runner's lunge. So this right knee is bent. Hands can be on yoga blocks or the mat. We want that straight line from our head to our left heel. Softening the knee, point the toe, low lunge stretch. Flexing the foot, lift up, runner's lunge. Our next position is that forward facing pyramid. So we extend both legs, hips are square, lifting through the tailbone, elongating towards our leg. So we don't want to round our back just to get closer to that right leg. Your left heel is gently pressing back and we're going to flow. Inhale to prepare, exhale, runner's lunge. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, forward facing pyramid. Exhale, runner's lunge. Inhale, forward facing pyramid. Exhale, holding runner's lunge. And we're gonna transition to that high lunge. So you might need your hands for support. You might be able to do it without. We want both knees bent, hips are square, high lunge. Shifting our weight to the right foot, pushing off to your version of warrior three. We're reaching head to toe. Use the floor if you need a little balance help. You might be lifted slightly. You might be closer to parallel. Feeling that length, feeling that stretch. From warrior three, we inhale, high lunge. Exhale, warrior three. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, warrior three. Two more times, high lunge. Warrior three. High lunge. Warrior three. Holding high lunge. Inhale as we extend both legs. Exhale, hands come to our thigh. Inhale, reach. We're gonna do that deadlift and forward facing pyramid, hinging. Resisting that stretch, contracting, using that right leg to lift back up. Exhale. And inhale, trying to keep the leg straight. If we need more, you can try opening your heart. I cannot do it even once on this side, but it's there if you need it. Exhale as we hinge. Inhale as we contract. You ready to put it all together? Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, warrior three. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, forward facing pyramid. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, warrior three. Inhale, high lunge. Exhale, forward facing pyramid. Two more times, feeling that length in each position. High lunge, warrior three. High lunge forward facing pyramid. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. High lunge, holding, and we're going to add movement. Reach and lower. Two more moving high lunges. Inhale and exhale, holding high lunge, inhale, reach. Exhale, runner's lunge, take a breath, feeling this stretch. Right leg extends to plank, on your toes or on your knees. Inhale to prepare. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Feel that length as we lift through our hips, elongate down our spine, heels press towards our mat. Softening our knees, baby steps, walking our feet to our hands, releasing into that forward fold. Sealing our inner thighs, ragdoll, using the strength of our core to round our back, stack our vertebrae up to mountain. Inhale and exhale. Fantastic job, workout worthy. That was a great quick pile flow to lengthen, strengthen, tone, and condition. 
Make sure you subscribe to this channel, like this video, and save this video. Come back and do this pile anytime.